Hi, I am Engineer Reynaldo A. Flor de Lisa. Today, we're going to be talking about drones, as we refer to UAVs. The primary concept utilizing modern technology on the use of unmanned aircraft vehicles, so-called drones, have been considered nowadays as a tool that shows a promising advantage for area observation, investigation and assessment, not only for the commercial industry, but as well as in the field of engineering for geohazard, survey, and assessment of disaster during <clears throat> that period. Today's concept has made life easier for engineers, stakeholders, and private users and military end users of which prove to be more advantageous, cost-effective, and approach that made them easily decide how to solve a day-to-day -day problem in various fields. A drone in technological term is an unmanned aircraft. Drones are more formally known as unmanned aerial vehicle called UAVs or unmanned aircraft system or UASIS. Essentially, a drone is a flying robot that can be remotely controlled or fly autonomously through software controlled flight plans in their embedded system working in conjunction with onboard sensor and GPS. So there are many types of drones. Drone platforms have two main types, the rotor type, including the single rotor or multi-rotor such as tricopters, quadcopters, hexacopters, and octocopters, or fixed wing, something like this, which include the hybrid vertical takeoff and landing drones that don't require runways. Drone can be equipped with number of sensors, including distance sensors, ultrasonic laser, LIDAR, time of flight sensor, chemical sensor, and stabilization and orientation sensors, among others. This will sensor upper still or video data with RGB sensor collecting standard visual red, green, and blue wavelengths and multi-spectral sensor collecting visible and non-visible wavelengths, such as infrared and ultraviolet colors. It has an accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, barometer, and GPS are also common drone feature. With this kind of drone, a LiDAR can be attached at this end. So when you fly the drone with this equipment, you can you can see the colors, the spectrum, broad spectrum of thermal energies. Utilization of drones. In recent past, UAB were most often associated with military where they were used initially for anti-aircraft target practice, intelligence gathering, and then more controversially as weapon platforms. Drones are now used in a wide range of civilian roles ranging from search and rescue, surveillance, engineering, traffic monitoring, weather monitoring, and firefighting to personal drones and business drone-based photography, as well as videography, agriculture, and even delivery. In this picture, you have a small drone utilized for tactical purposes. So this is a kind of drone that is very slick that cannot just be uh, detected while flying because of its size. Drone for inspections which can be used where there is hard to reach areas such as power lines, cables inspection, critical infrastructure inspection, wind turbine inspection, bridge inspection, monument inspection, bridge inspection, solar installation inspection, gas pipeline inspection, inspection of cell phone towers, offshore platforms, and refineries. Drone mapping can be uh, <coughs> uh, utilized using digital terrain model, where you fly your drone 
and you can take a shot and it can be processed in a certain software that you can utilize all this point cloud classification digital surface modeling textured meshing contour lines volume calculation and utilize also for civil survey engineering here is a drone shot having dissected a certain point on the road wherein you can see the section elevation of the area drone are for structural inspection to thermal imaging so you can see there is a point wherein there is a point of study of thermal uh, heating digital terrain application which you use drone for hazard assessment analysis and this picture is just a picture a real picture wherein you can notice there is a separation of the land mass it's about two slide so it can be processed something like this uh, <coughs> during drone shots drones at bridge inspection at an inaccessible height so when you have this kind of picture so you can utilize your drone by flying it near the elements and seeing if there are problems on this uh, objects having a lidar on the drone you can capture an area of the bridge obliquely so uh, while processing that and using a cloud point processing you can have this image when you can have it in a uh, 2d uh, drawing afterwards and you have this drone shot, uh, which has been shared to me by Aerovision, utilizing a fly and a zoom in at the top cord of the bridge and analyzing the connection if there are some defects and problems. So also, there is a uh, shot at the bottom cord showing all the uh, defects if there are cases and also some defects in uh, painting maybe that's why there is a corroding part which has not been completed by the contractor maybe at that time and also uh, some areas or some elements that needs to be addressed to be checked and then for repair a drone can you utilize also for finding your global position coordinates and it can be used afterwards for beam application just like this if you you take a shot of the drone that can also accurately uh, give you a latitude and longitude because drone cannot be fly with uh, less than 10 coinciding satellites so drone imagery, imagery <clears throat> a simple shot at a certain canal using uh, a thermal energy uh, thermal sensor you can analyze that particular area and also for solar panel analyzing the heat uh, induced by the panel or uh, to check defects on its parts Drones are utilized in the construction also. So while construction is complex in nature, drone can help construction industry utilize a, uh, a drone. We can be able to capture the project in entirely in a new way. Collect useful uh, actionable information for surveyor and constructor and demonstrate just how fast and safe aerial data capture can be. So you can also take uh, contour cut and fill uh, using drone shots processed to a certain special software. Uh, so you can also get the, the contour. This is a uh, LiDAR scan <coughs> in a platform of the drone. So taking points, uh, taking a shot and then having a process to as built your buildings and can you can rotate it in a 360 degrees using your software 
So, it also can be used for volumetric calculation. Having a drone shots like this, plotting all the perimeter, you can calculate the volume of that uh, mountainous. Drone survey photography also uh, used today to make easier for, for people who are into uh, video photography. Many personal drones are now available for consumer use, offering high definition videos or still camera capabilities to simply fly around. This drone open way, a drone shot at a high altitude flight uh, covering a certain portion of Metro Manila. So the portion of this is Guadalupe. This is Makati. So uh, before you can fly to this kind of height, you have to ask permission from Civil Aviation Authority that you will be flying at that altitude. Drone photography can be used for project development updating, just like we have for the PWH. We have this road, this new road going to Manila, and uh, for bridges, what is the updating for the construction? Is it okay or not? So you can see how the beauty of having a drone in a plan elevated the position. LiDAR a drone uh, for communication tower investigation for as built cloud point processing. You can uh, check the tower height, you can check the appurtenance and the elements of the tower. And uh, with this uh, point cloud, you can do the AutoCAD and the 2D or 3D model. Fly drone for a tower. So having a uh, 360 <coughs> rotation, you can also measure the height of the tower and uh, you can also measure the perimeter accurately from model you can add some appurtenance if you want to revise the design and <coughs> you can have those library collected for the pictures and uh, you have this drone flying over there you can check the elements of the appurtenance and then uh, you can fly your drone something like this you can go near if you want but be careful now what we have there is the integration of drone for uh, inspection of turbine. So what I have here is a flying drone far from the turbine. So we have to be careful on that. So you can zoom in and check the elements. If this is already deteriorating just like this, it's corroding because of the salt uh, content of the sea that make it corrode. So you can zoom in like that, investigate uh, some problems in the area, if this is cracking or not. Or checking the, uh, the elements of the blades of the propeller, if there are cracks or any un undetected problems in that uh, project. So flying your drone, you can zoom in and you will see that it can be seen. This is this part is uh, being deteriorated at the corrosive effect of the sea. Where wind turbine inspection, you can do that. You can uh, map out the blades using that uh, uh, point to point uh, shots utilizing your drone. Or you can zoom in while being in the construction site or and you can see those people or working or there is a problem at the site. Drone script with LiDAR scanner can also process imagery like this. It relies also for agricultural applications. So the color red represents that needs to be addressed by maybe uh, putting some irrigation on the area so you can have a uh, more productive uh, crops building works monitoring for aerial shoot during rescue these are one of the capability of uh, drones that 
can, you can use this is a drone shot I did uh, in the Tucson Pora earthquake the last time that uh, <clears throat> that uh, grocery collapse I flew my drone above and have it uh, put the, the the camera downwards so I can have a better view of the area now however drones you have some regulation to understand okay before you engage the flyer drones remember there is a drone law to comply with first you have to attain your pilot certificate but you have to uh, learn first how to fly your drone and then you get your license it can be uh, secured in the CAA Philippines the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines but however if you just fly and fly and fly just be careful authorities are watching you because there is an element there there are equipment that use for anti-drone just like this actually this area is is where I live my office I flew my drone one time and then my drone which is a DJI Pro was detected you see so how accurate they are as I conclude my presentation as I fly now high I sing a little song come fly with me let's go and fly away thank you god bless you all for listening happy flying bye bye